Welcome to Kaleidoscope Toy and Miniature Australian Shepherds in Raleigh, North Carolina. I just wanted to talk with you today about dog training, really the origin of the commands that we use, the heel, the sit, the stay, the down, and all this really originated in the military. And, and then over the years, they started teaching uh, competition obedience using that and other dog sports. And then it spilled over into the pet realm where really most of these commands are useless. One command I never train my dogs is is the down. I, I don't teach, well the border collies for work yes but for the pet dogs, my, my uh, Australian Shepherds, my show dogs for sure, confirmation show dogs don't learn sit or down. Shelby has no idea what either one of those things mean. He gets through life just fine. He's a really good dog. So come here Barkley. Come here Bark. This is my least likely to succeed dog. She's been trained absolutely nothing. I watched a guy for like a half an hour trying to teach a dog to do a down today using clickers and uh, treats and all of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put Barkley. No, what did she do? She just laid down because it's the, it's just the intelligent thing to do. I put down a nice soft towel. I brought her over. I put her in front of me on a leash and her brain said, well, I got an idea. I'll just lay down. So I just don't see the point in teaching a lot of useless information. Now, Nikita has a lot of obedience training, but I have never taught her. The reason I didn't do the demo with her on the towel is because she has a lot of training and I have never ever so I'll bring her back over to the towel. We'll see what she does. I've never taught her to, I did teach her to SIT. And then they, most of them have an automatic sit that they've taught themselves for walking on the leash. But I've never taught her DOWN. I don't see any point in it. Because if she, if they're in a sit, they're, the whole point of a stationary command is so they're not jumping on you, pulling on you, that you can get them to stay in one spot if you need them to do so. Sit is perfectly sufficient for that. People get in a lot of trouble trying to teach their dogs to down and they have a lot of failure with it because none of us want to be forced to lay down on the ground. Dogs don't want to be forced to do that. I understand that. I don't see any point in it because if I'm getting from my dog what I want, if it's being still, that's all I care. That's it. So she's chosen to sit there. If she chooses to lay down, that's fine. Now, if I wanted to teach it to her, then I would. I would just take the leash and I would just stand on it where it was uncomfortable for her to sit. And I would just wait and see what she does. Now, she has no training. This has been a breeding dog for me for five years. She's been a really good house dog. She knows to come, go get in the kennel, come outside, go for, you know, go potty, do whatever. But she doesn't have any obedience training. So I've just made this uncomfortable for her to sit. And I'm just going to wait and see what she does. Now, notice she, when she leaned down a little bit, she got a little bit of relief from the collar. And we'll see if she's got if she's able to figure out to to DOWN. But if I was going to teach it, this is how I would do it. I would just stand on the leash like this, watch TV, tell the dog lay down, and then I would uh, congratulate the dog for doing it. See, so we're just going to wait and see what she does. And see, this is also part of the reason why. There we go. Good down. Good down. Good down. Yeah. It's hot in the sun, isn't it, kids? It's hot in the sun. I watched this guy for half an hour clicking and treating. She wants to get out of the sun. Clicking and treating and throwing treats at this dog. Good damn. Oh, good damn. Now, I'm just showing this to you because if you absolutely feel like you feel like you have to teach your dog to do it, then this is the way I would do it. Good damn. So she she's figuring out where it's comfortable is flat on the floor. But it isn't natural. See, she comes back up to the SIT because she's ready for action. 
You know, when they're laying on, good down. Oh, so good down. Good down. So I'm showing you how if I was going to teach down, which I don't teach it, that's the way I would do it. You don't need a treat. You don't need a clicker. You don't need to stand there uh, throwing the treat and playing London Bridge and all these ridiculous things that people do to teach dogs to down. It's like, okay, we're going to play a game. We're going to do London Bridge. You know, we're going to say, come on, just stand on the leash. The dog will lay down. But dog trainers, most of them make videos to impress each other. They're not making videos for you, the pet owner. They want to show off their timing and their skills and their clicking and their treating and their shocking and their all the stuff they've got going on. They're showing it off to their other dog trainer friends and they're not helping you, or I won't say friends, dog trainer competition. They're not helping you train your pet dog. Good down. So now just tell her it's hot too. So I'm just going to free her because it's hot. She, if she wants to go get in the shade, she can go get in the shade. All right, you're free. You're free. You can do what you want. Good dogs. But see, they would rather sit because they want to be ready. They want to be ready for something. So to me, forcing a dog into a down and making it lay down there is uh, kind of barbaric in a way. <laughs> I really don't think it's very relationship building. And I don't mean it's barbaric the way that I taught it. I mean it's barbaric to expect your dog to lie down on the ground when there's all kinds of stuff going on, you know, you watch people walk into the vet and they tell their dogs to sit and make them lie down on the floor or whatever. The dog isn't going to lay there. It's not going to lay there. It might sit there, but it's definitely not going to lay there. So lay down. Down is a useless, 100% useless command. Because if I put my dog, well, what about when I tell it to go to its place? Well, tell it to go to its place if you've got the skills to get there, because that's another useless one. Okay, we're going to teach the pet dog to go lay down in its place when the doorbell rings or whatever. That's really good for people that have the skills and the follow-through, but most people don't. But let's say that you did teach your dog to do that. Let's say you taught your dog to go to its place, and then you go over there and down, and you make it go down. Okay, well, there's no point in that. If it goes to its place and it's standing there, well, it's going to get tired of standing there, so it's going to sit. And then when it gets tired of sit, it's going to go down. And that, then that's the dog's choice, and it's not you standing over it demanding that it gets down when it's in sort of an aroused state, if it wants to stand there or whatever. But I'm just blown away watching some of these dog, training, dog trainers on YouTube driving me crazy with how they take the long way around teaching everything. And teaching down is pressure and release, a re release of pressure, putting the leash around the neck, Come here. I don't even know if I want to do it to Nikita because she's never had it. Let's see. Come here. Come here, Nikita. I have never, ever, ever taught this to Nikita, so we'll see. I don't even really want to do it to you, girl. Let's see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay, I'll make it a little bit. It's still too comfortable, so I'm pulling it down a little bit there. Now, I'll just wait. I've never taught this to this dog. She's three years old. It's an absolutely, to me, useless command. But this is the way I would teach it. And I'm just going to wait. And she's feeling that pressure pushing here. That's getting, it gets a little uncomfortable over time. Now, dogs have opposition reflex, which means they want to go that way when they feel downward pressure. So I have to wait for her brain to decide instead of going this way, it wants to go that way. And I might be sitting here for a very long time because, see, Barkley did it really quickly because Barkley has no training history <laughs> at all. And Nikita has been taught to sit beside me or sit at my feet. She's never been taught. She's taught an automatic sit when we're walking and, a, and to always sit in my presence. So she might never do it. Let's see what happens if I put a little more pressure on it. A little more pressure. A little more pressure. See, she's trying to do... What she thinks she was, what, what she was taught to do, which is to sit in my presence. Okay, she's trying to do that, but that's getting uncomfortable. See her look down at the towel. She's thinking, I don't know, maybe down there would be better. So she, see if she does it. So if your, if your dog's had a lot of training, and you go to show it something new, it's actually harder to teach it 
than a dog who has no training and just goes, oh, that's uncomfortable, I'll just lie down. Because she is referring to the training that she's had before, and she's really struggling to continue to SIT in my presence because that's what I've taught her how to do. Good down, Nikita. Good girl. Good down. Now, I have never, ever taught this dog how to down. But people, these trainers are making everything so complicated with the treats and the clicks and the, oh my God. Pressure and the release of pressure is how dogs learn. I'll free her. Free! She's free to do what she wants. And it's the first time in her life I've ever taught her this very useless, in my opinion, command. So <laughs> I hope this video made sense to you. Just because they did it in the military, just because this is the way dogs have been trained for, uh, what, I don't know how many years, it spilled over into the pet dog world where it's pretty useless. And, you know, all these classes, okay, we're going to have a dog class, and we're going to teach them to sit, we're going to teach them to down. You have to start asking why. Why does my dog need to learn how to down? I think sit is useful. And then if they default into a down, that's fine. But adhering to military dog training into pet into the pet dog realm, you really have to ask yourself, what does your dog really need to know how to do? What it needs to know how to do is, on the leash, walk when I walk, stop when I stop, keep your four paws on the floor, which could mean you're either standing in my presence, like Nikita is doing, not jumping on me, or you are sitting in my presence because that's causing you to marry that spot, meaning, okay, she's standing here, she figures she's going to be here for a long time, then she might sit because she figures she's going to be there. She can make herself comfortable. And over time, she might even lie down and go to sleep. But all I care is that she keeps her four feet on the floor that she does not jump up on me, that she does not claw me, that she does not bark in my face. So I teach my dogs only a very few things. Even my working dogs only know a handful of things. They just learn what they need to know and they don't learn any more than that. That, th that makes it so much simpler for their brain because they only have a few things that they have to remember and they can do those few things really, really well. And you don't need treats to train an adult dog. I don't have any treats on me. I use the release of pressure. It's so simple that it's painful to me <laughs> to watch these people on YouTube with their clickers and their, sh and their treats and their, and their London Bridge. And I mean, you know, when you're doing little puppies, little tiny puppies, if you're on the floor and you've got an eight week old puppy and you want to lure it under your legs with a, um, with a treat and have it lay under your legs, you know, that's fine. You're bond building. This is an adult dog and an adult dog needs to be trained. It needs to have commands. It needs to know that when it's told to do something, it is to do that. It's not a game. The shelters are full of dogs that are untrained. Training is not a game. It's very, very important. So I'm, that's all I'm going to beat this drum. I don't train useless commands, and I certainly don't train them in these long, drawn-out ways that these modern trainers are training, and they never, ever show you the finished product. This is the finished product right here. A dog that knows how to behave in my presence and is a joy to live with. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Hope this helped you. Drop a comment please. Hey, I need some ideas for upcoming videos. So if you have any good ideas, drop them in the comments. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments so I can make a video for you. Thanks.